Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah Renee Stepney. I make art videos and today's video is going to be an art portrait. It is an acrylic painting and I'm going to be showing you guys my process. So I hope you're excited for it. I'm super excited to share this with you and I'm going to talk a little bit about my journey. So I also have another video, um, a little less in depth, but I'll leave it linked for you to check out. It's a little bit shorter too. One last thing, I do have a Patreon. So if you're interested, I will leave that linked below as well as my own art website where you can purchase prints and originals. Okay, now let's get into the video. Um, right now I have uh, the painting, I have the outline. What I'm going to do is I'm going to um, paint over it in brown. I cannot remember, <laughs> remember the terms for it, but that's not really my style anyways. But I'm going to paint over it um, in a light wash of brown um, just so we don't have like that harsh white and trying to build up. Um, as you can see, like I already started and I was not feeling it. Um, and that's kind of what I did with the last one, um, except, except I did it way, way, way too dark and it was a little difficult for me to recover. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm about to do. And then I'm going to um, paint the background another color, more like in the actual, um, in the actual reference photo. Um, I'll give you guys a clear shot in a second. Um, and then, yeah, and then we'll just get into the painting, so. Okay, so I have a painting over there that is actually almost finished, but whenever I paint, I just turn around my um, in progress or finished paintings just in case like paint gets everywhere because I've had that happen before. I also laid down a um, sheet that is only strictly for painting. Um, that way it doesn't get on my carpet. And yeah, I wanted to make sure to tell you guys about this because I wish I would have known or more so remembered sooner. Um, if you are going to use a wooden palette, make sure that you prime it first um, because I didn't do that and it was eating all of my paint. So um, the wood, wood in its own is, um, it absorbs like water, moisture. Um, so if you're using acrylic and I believe even oil, um, it will absorb into the wood. So make sure you prime your palettes. Um, I'm gonna be going back and forth between this one and this smaller one. I've never used such a tiny palette on such a large canvas. So I was trying to figure out the term that is used and it is literally called a wash, guys. I don't know why that was very difficult for me to remember, but yeah, that's what it is and that's what I'm doing here. Okay, so as that dries, I'm just going to tell you guys what happened because <laughs> there was a moment where I was like, oh my god. Um, so I was uh, mixing the paints and whatnot and I was like, you know what, I'm going to wet my roller and I'm going to use that and I'm just going to get a nice even coating and it did not work. Um, it was like no so no um it was it was so wet that it just like ran down the whole canvas and like started to run down my easel and it was just all bad um but we recovered we got it looking nice um so i'm just gonna let it dry it shouldn't take that long and then i'm gonna start adding uh the first layers so yeah i'm excited Okay, so here I am mixing the colors and I'm painting in the background first. As you'll see, I actually went over the background um, later. However, I did think this was like a good starting place. So I was trying to match the colors as near as possible to the reference photo. Whereas in my other video, I was more concerned about um, making the portrait look three-dimensional so I was definitely working on that I'll leave the video linked as I said before but in this process since I became a lot more comfortable 
with making 3D shapes and planes of the face, I was able to focus more on the actual skin tone itself and color mixing. So you'll see here that at first it does look crazy, guys. And every time I paint a portrait, I'm always like, ah, this is crazy. This does not look like a real person. However, as you see, it always ends up looking better. It's just about mixing, blending, and using multiple colors. So if you are a very beginner acrylic painter, then I would suggest what I just said and really focus on creating different colors and using them to create dimension. We interrupt this program to bring you the kombucha break. All right, guys, it is now day two of my art process. This is as far as I've gotten. Um, I am actually totally, totally loving it so far. It's looking pretty close um, to the reference, pretty similar. Um, today I'm gonna be painting her body and um, redoing the background as well and adding the cute little flowers. So I actually recorded a video of me discussing what paints I used and the colors I used to make the skin tone. However, it was super cringy and it went a little longer than expected and I wasn't sure if you guys would be interested. So I went ahead and cut it. Um, but here I am painting in her lower body. So now I'm just adding in a few more details to the lower half of her body. Um, and yeah, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and let some music play and let you guys watch. Okay, so it is day three of creating this art piece. Uh, it's been teaching me a lot and really exciting because I've never actually counted the days of how long it takes me to create a piece. Uh, so this is kind of fun. This is new and I'm totally um, enjoying it. Also, I had to stop filming the other day because I realized I wasn't creating to just create. I was creating to create content, not because I was loving what I was doing. So just a reminder for other people who are like in a similar situation, uh, really just create from that authentic heart space and it'll make you love what you do so much more. Okay, so now I'm going in and I'm adding a few more details such as like the highlights like on her nose and on the bridge of her nose as well and just making sure everything looks okay and then I'll do some more fine details such as the flowers in her hair later and I'm gonna let you guys go ahead and just vibe out to the music. I'm almost finished with the painting. I only have about 
Um, just a little bit to go. I, I'm going to finish a few details on the hair and then I'm going to be finished. I added some like new stuff to it, new techniques that I haven't ever really done before. Um, but it just felt natural and it felt really good doing it and it resonates with me. So I can't wait to show you guys. All right, guys. So this is the final product. I am so proud of this painting. Um, so I added some texture to it and it just came so naturally and I truly love the process. It just felt right and I feel like it gives it so much more character.